but they're trialing a system developed by a Spanish company, NGS, that does away with growing medium altogether. Guillermo? Hey, James, how are you doing? Yeah, good. So at first glance, it really looks very similar to the traditional system. I mean, the plants are a little bit smaller because they're younger. What's so different about it? Well, you are right. It looks similar, but it's completely different. So first thing you can see is a plastic gutter, okay, with different layers inside. So we have the plants, you can see the tomato plants here. So there's absolutely no soil on there no whatsoever. Soil it's, it's completely just bare clean. roots. Correct. The plant roots grow directly into water, and that water is constantly flowing and recirculated. It's a enclosed recirculating system, so that means that we are irrigating by gravity, okay, and then we are collecting the water and reusing it again. Okay. So actually by that, by only that, we can get from 50 to 75 percent uh, water savings here. 75 percent reduction is astonishing. It's a lot, yes. And also, also not, not only water, but of course, if we are uh, using or injecting the fertilizers and all the chemicals that we are using with this in the water, that means that we are also saving fertilizers. Another good thing here is that we are not using pesticides at all. Pesticides are used mainly to uh, prevent diseases in the soil. So we have no soil here at all, so we are you know, we don't need them. But we're also doing something else. So we're having double density than, than the system that you have seen. So the plants are actually closer together, so you get Correct. more crop from the same area of land. Exactly, double. The system can be used for salads and fruits, and means that fresh foods rich in micronutrients can be grown densely, at scale, and on land that would ordinarily be unfarmable. And vitally, because they're grown indoors, the environment is controllable, meaning that the crops can be grown and harvested all year round. You know, at first glance, when you look at really intensive modern agricultural systems like this, they can seem a world away from that bucolic, quite romantic idea of how we like our food to be produced. But if we really care about the environment, we should also care about evidence. And these systems, they're better at land use, reduced water use, reduced fertilizer, and reduced pollution. And the best thing about it is this exact same technology could be employed all over the world in climates much harsher than this one, allowing us to produce abundant food in areas where nothing else could grow. If you ask me, it's a really exciting sign of things to come.